you folks. Good morning. It's opening day, Monday, April 1st, 2013. Um, but before opening day starts uh, early this afternoon, uh, I got to go to the gym and get a quick workout in and then prepare myself to get to the fun-filled baseball activities. Oh, it's so exciting. I can't wait. Hang it up. up there, that's it. We continue with the Mets coaching staff in his second season as the Mets first base coach, number 26, Tom Goodwin. The third base coach, a familiar face to Mets fans, 1986 World Champion, number 18, Tim Huffall. The bench coach, number 7, Bob Guerin. In his third season as Mets hitting coach, number 51, Dave Hutchins. In the Mets bullpen, the bullpen catchers, number 54, Dave Racanello. And number 78, Eric Langeel. The bullpen coach, number 25, Ricky Bonus. And the Mets pitching coach, beginning his fourth full season with the club, number 59. Dan Morton. Here are the Mets 2013 bench and bullpen players. Outfielder, Jordani, got the 
Hi folks, it is I. Um, interesting opening day at the Mets. Um, I did catch some footage, but it got very cold and raw and damp and it was not uh, prime spring weather. It still felt very wintry and uh, I didn't really uh, I didn't really take a jacket or anything because it was supposed to be 60s and sunny, but uh, it was very windy and raw and strange it did actually rain um, but we were gone by then um, and the Mets won uh, as you guys have seen um, and then um, oh an interesting development I lost my Fitbit at City Field because you have to take everything out of your pockets and everything so I took it all out and um, and I probably dropped it somewhere in, in the security check so that thing is long gone uh, so I wound up having to get another one, but <clears throat> uh, on the way back, um, the trip was actually pretty seamless, um, but then um, once I hit New Jersey Transit, all the crappiness started happening, which is why I hate New Jersey Transit, 
I'm going to rant about them for a few minutes here. Um, I, uh, I took the trip from my town over to uh, Penn Station in New York rather than driving to Secaucus and just taking the one stop over because I had to go to the Devil's Game tonight and um, I wasn't going with my aunt there. So I had to go home to drop her off and then I had to go to the Devil's Game. So I had no choice. I had to leave from Garfield. And the way it works is Secaucus is a major intersection or a major stop where you can connect to other trains. So every train stops there. Um, but every train doesn't go to Garfield. It's like one train every 30, 40 minutes, if you're lucky. And so we actually got on the correct train uh, to get back to Garfield by about 6 o'clock. But the first leg of the connecting train was going very slow. And by the time we got to Secaucus, we missed the train. It had left when we arrived. So had to wait 35 minutes for the next train. And I didn't get back to Garfield till about 6.40. And now it is about 6.50 and I'm driving to the Devil's Game, which starts at 7. So while Newark isn't very far from here, it's not 10 minutes away. And especially with the game day traffic, I will probably hit some amount of traffic getting to the parking garage or to or the parking lot that I park in. Last minute point in the third period. 